Hello, I'm Jim Gardner. The rain, it's plain, was falling on the vet tonight, delaying the start of the World Series. Meanwhile, across the street at the Spectrum, Madonna brings her world tour to Philadelphia. But some people critical of her stage acts did their protesting in church tonight. Across the street, pop singer Madonna plays to a sold-out Spectrum with a crowd, combined with a Madonna concert across the street at the Spectrum. Action News reporter John Rollins is live at Broad and Patterson. John, was the arrival of almost 80,000 people at the sports complex a nightmare or not so bad? Not so bad, Jim. There was real concern going into the night's events. As you said, 62,000 baseball fans, 15,000 plus concert goers, a real potential for a traffic tie-up. It didn't materialize. Two reasons, we're told. Some folks came early. In fact, a lot of folks came early, as much as two hours early, and SEPTA. The rain might have arrived early, but the convergence of Phillies fans and Madonna fans did not produce the forecasted gridlock. Instead, traffic generally flowed, though it wasn't flawless. It took us two and a half hours to get here. From Downingtown? From Downingtown, which should have taken an hour. It was pretty horrible. We came in from Delaware, we came up 95, and Broad Street was closed. So we had to go all the way up to Packer Avenue. But of course, we sat on Broad Street for 45 minutes at least. Meanwhile, down below, SEPTA lived up to its slogan, better than driving. Phillies Express! Phillies Express! This 645 Phillies Express ran the full length of the Broad Street line from Fern Rock to South Philadelphia in just 36 minutes. With that kind of service, no one seemed to mind the sardine can-like conditions. I think it's marvelous. I think more people ought to do it. It helps the environment. It helps the crowd. It's just absolutely, I never realized how clean and how good it was. Concert goer Melinda Widmeyer used her 36 minutes to study for a college midterm exam scheduled for tomorrow. You didn't think about maybe staying home and studying for college, did you? Yeah. I'm bringing it with me. All eight chapters. You're studying eight chapters. You gonna study during a concert? No. <laughs> Before and after and all night. Okay, we're live topside right now. You can see the traffic. It's flowing. Concert was over about 20 minutes ago, and frankly, most of the folks are out of here. The people who are riding the Broad Street line from the concert are all down. The trains are gone. It looks like it's going to be a pretty easy night as far as traffic is concerned, with one exception. That is the Madonna truckers. They have 14 trucks. They have to load up with all of Madonna's gear and stage equipment, and they're going to have to move out later tonight. They may move out once the game is over, so they may be the only people who will be troubled by all this. I'm John Rollins, live on the Action Cam in South Philadelphia. Thank you, John. Let's talk about the Madonna concert. It began about an hour late tonight, but mindful of the game across the street, she ended her show with various comments about the Phillies and the World Series. It is called The Girly Show, and it's been scheduled for the Spectrum for months. To change the date because of the World Series would have meant rearranging her entire tour, and that was impossible. And so Madonna did her thing before 15,000 people at the Spectrum tonight, and for these fans, the World Series was a distant thought. Tonight was the night for Madonna. And Madonna obviously knew where she was playing tonight because she donned a Phillies warm-up shirt about halfway through her show. Warm-up shirt, not much else. But before the concert, Madonna said she had no interest in catching the last couple of innings of the game if her concert ended in time, and it did. Madonna says she's much more of a basketball, these fans, anyway. Well, Madonna's concert resulted in a packed house elsewhere tonight. Several hundred people, members of the Rosary Congress, filled the pews at the Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul. They were praying to the Virgin Mary, the Madonna, for the soul of Madonna, the singer.